still are not done yet. I got one more wheel and then we're good to start putting on the burners and taking those back upstairs. So this is gonna be fun. how bald my daily tires are pretty bad yeah that's really bad okay I'm gonna have to get new tires they roll and they hold there so that's all that matters right now right okay. we got lug stud to lug nut conversion with this nice eBay spacer so that makes life a little bit easier Honestly, this was kind of tiring to do, so I'm gonna go grab some pizza. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna bring all this up first, and then on the way to get pizza or whatever, I'll do some skits, just feeling out the tires, and then we'll go to the spot. All right, finally got air in the tires. Let's go to get some pizza, and then do some rips, I guess, right? Hopefully I don't get... Hopefully cops don't come or something. Honestly kind of hyped for this pizza, not gonna lie. It's $5 from uh, Little Caesars, so honestly you can't go wrong. Tires feel fine so far. I don't know why one of them didn't have air in it. I plugged it, so it shouldn't be leaking air. See how she do around this corner. Not bad, I like the grip on them. They feel pretty good. I actually thought that they were not gonna be grippy whatsoever, so that's pretty awesome. Got about 32 psi in them because i don't want too much grip i don't want to break anything on this thing because it's my daily i'm honestly pretty hype right now i'm pretty hungry and after all that all that moving of tires and whatnot. Oh, I hate this bump right here, it's pretty bad. Oh. All right, let's see how weird they look at me for coming in with a GoPro on my head. Oh, I didn't even order my pizza yet, damn it. All right, this is awkward. make a phone call. Thank you for calling Little Caesars in San Carlos. This is Dylan. How may I help you? Can I just get a pepperoni pizza? Pepperoni? Yeah. Any crazy bread, wings, or soda? No, thank you. Alright, tells me 533. Can I have a name for the order? Nico. Alright, I can have that ready in like 5-10 minutes. 
All right, waited about five minutes. Let's see if it's ready. I'm stupid for not calling ahead of time. How's it going? Good, how are you, sir? Good, my name's Nico. Just got a pizza. Between 5.33. Okay. Checking Atkins or Dresher and Pepper? No, thank you. Thank you Have a good one, thanks. You too. All right, we going windows down, boys can't mess up that nice BMW interior smell. And yeah, I know my parking sensors are broken. It's a long story. It happened when I uh, did a muffler delete. And it burned my bumper. They've always been kind of finicky ever since. And I need gas, of course. Maybe like an hour and a half just to get myself situated to be ready to do some skids. under three dollars but okay street drift crab I low-key want to do a, a rip around this roundabout. Should I do it? And we'll do it, I guess. Let's see how it, how there's a car coming. No more cars, traction control's off. hit it and quit it let's get the freak to my apartment eat my pizza so we go off the map a little bit five dollars you can't tell me you wouldn't smash this pizza for five dollars like yes all right my tummy's full i just laminated this because they want us to stick them out here and i'm not doing that so that's what that is if you guys are wondering which i don't think any of you are but <laughs> takes just to like make a video i finally got all my my jack here i got i brought some spare 
burners and just all my tools and everything. So now I'm gonna be able to start making some videos. I got a, as you can see, I got the helmet cam for my GoPro. So now I can, oh, that's sick. Uh, that was just my tire light. It doesn't like it when I have 17s in the back and 18s or 19s up front. It just, it'll pop up. But besides that, I moved down here. I'm supposed to go drifting with some guy I met over at, when I was putting depositing my check. He was in a 240 and I asked him if he uh, did some drifts and he told me that he wanted to meet up today and then kind of like bailed, I guess, I don't know. But <clears throat> I was ready to drift today, so I'm drifting today. And with, with or without him, really, I guess, right? Alright, so I actually don't know if there's going to be any people here. Hopefully there's not. Uh, usually I get pretty lucky and there's no one over here. But this is just a little spot close to home that I've been kind of coming to. I haven't really had just burners, so now that I finally have them, I'm trying to test this place out see what it's like. It's just basically a big open lot, so I can practice some manjis or whatnot. looks like someone's out there. Maybe I can ask them, be like, hey, do you guys care if I do some drifts around here? As you can see, plenty of room to toss it around. Damn, they're really opening this thing up. I gotta figure out where they're at, so. I like to just honestly straight up ask them because if they know, like, I don't know, it might be a little bit better. If they say no, I mean, I guess I won't rip it and I will go find a different spot. But I need to see if I can find where they're at. Of course there's people here right now, like literally never ever people here. But then when I want to take a video, they're here. <laughs> What is that? That looks like a cop car. Let me go check that out. <laughs> I always like to just scope the area first because you never know if like right now, oh my God. Like, I don't know if this car right here is a cop car. So if it is, that would be pretty bad because he would be able to hear me and just come right there instantly. Might just be a, oh, let's look at this thing. Oh, there's no license plate on it. All right, good. <laughs> Dang, we got a Miata here too. Alright. Alright, we basically scoped the whole area, so so far so good if these people say it's cool. Probably just gonna toss it this way and then around this way. Very windy out though. Damn. I don't see anyone here right now, but I heard them. I don't want to just walk in there all awkwardly. I don't see anyone back there. I'm just gonna hit it real quick and probably just get out of here. Nothing too crazy. I 
thing right now. Damn. That was so trash. But I was like kind of skeptical that they were going to come out. So I kept looking over there and not really concentrating on driving. But definitely want to air down the tires if I'm going to hit it back there. 32 is just a little bit, I don't know, feels weird in transitions. This spot's lame, but it's like in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of like better because I can kind of be out here for a little bit. But literally all it is really is just like a little cul-de-sac. something bro I, I feel so off that was pretty fun though but I aired down the tires a little bit I just held it for like three or four seconds on each tire just pumping air out let me check my tires real quick but oh they're still fine Gucci. Don't mind the flywheel chatter. Okay. I, I want to throw it out here, but like I don't like this right here. there that's where i was just at uh doing those little donuts or whatever i'm gonna go follow them and see what's good maybe they're all taking a picture they're gonna look at me and be like bro we don't want you in the picture Oh, he's gonna do a donut. Am I good to go? Whoa! 
I'm not even trying to make excuses or anything, but that driver's side rear is losing air for some reason. It's pretty low, so I don't know. It's kind of throwing me off. It feels really weird, so it's still leaking air somehow. I don't know what, where it's leaking, but I guess I just got to pop it and change a new one. But yeah, I can feel it like so, yeah, it's like rolling over itself kind of. I should have checked the air. It probably has like 12 PSI in it or something. here because my fuel pump fell off again on this hose I need to just get this uh, radium mount for it because it just keeps falling off the hose and then it just dies in traffic with a lot of traffic here but I was able to kind of dog it over here and yeah so sad and my roommates being a guy and coming over here to bring me a hammer and a flathead because that's all I need to open up the little fuel reservoir and secure the fuel pump again. It always happens when I drift, like it just doesn't like it, doesn't like to get upset and fall off. But... All right, I just had to walk two miles to my car. There she is over there, chilling in the Arby's parking lot. So I have an aftermarket fuel pump from TRE and you have to wire these up like this pigtail. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the wires were like shorting on it. Um, the connectors it came with or whatever, they didn't hold up very well on the fuel. So it kind of like came undone and then started shorting on each other. So that's very bad and not good, but now it should be all good. Got it rewired up. I put a zip tie back here just to kind of keep this wire away, just in case I'm not, I'm kind of skeptical on this. I put two heat shrink tubes around each wire and just for the extra support but kind of sketch about that maybe I'll have to just end up getting a new sending unit and figuring out a different way to wire this up without worrying about corrosion on these and then exposing themselves to metal in my fuel tank I don't like that so we're gonna plop this thing in and 
it'll start right up hopefully and yeah get back on our way all right let's see if she starts let it prime a little bit All right, guys, this is gonna be it for this video. Home, which is good. I didn't like it chilling at the Arby's. Still got the burners in the back, so maybe I'll do a couple skids later. I left these creaked open because my car literally smells like straight gasoline now. So hopefully that flutters out. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.